Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. <laughs> I kind of like that one. I might be using that one for a while. Uh, in my youth, my friends, in my youth, a condition which I am pleased to report is still very much in progress. The baseball rivalry to watch was not the Yankees and the Red Sox. It wasn't even the Cubs and the Cardinals. No. The rivalry to watch was the Reds and the Dodgers. The National League West was decided by those teams throughout the 70s, more or less. And uh, today, we're going to do a Reds Dodgers tilt with field day baseball. Now, in the description for this video is the link to field day baseball if you want to check that out. Uh, and in the description for this video is the link to channel membership. Remember, with membership to my channel, you get access to members only videos, play tips. Uh, book reviews, uh, special reports, exclusive replays, the whole nine yards, and you get discounts in my secondary store, and you get a free gift from me each and every month. Great value there as well. Uh, so, Today, we are at Dodger Stadium, where the 1974 Los Angeles Dodgers are going to be hosting the 1973 Cincinnati Reds. Now, those Reds, the 74 Dodgers, of course, were the National League pennant winners. They went on to lose the World Series to the Oakland A's in five games, five hard-fought games. Uh, the 73 Reds lost the National League Championship Series to the upstart New York Mets in 1973 in five games, but this was one of Sparky Anderson's best teams. So the 73 National League Western Division division winners, the Reds, against the 74 National League West Division winners, the Dodgers. We're at Dodger Stadium the battle is between a pair of right-handers. It's Jack Billingham, a 19-game winner for the 73 Reds, against Don Sutton, a 19-game winner for the 74 Dodgers. Let's get down to the field, check out the lineups and batting orders, and roll some field day baseball. For the visiting Cincinnati Reds, Pete Rose leads off in left field. Joe Morgan bats second at second base. Dan Dreesen bats third at third base. Johnny Bench bats fourth. He'll catch. Tony Perez bats fifth. He's at first base. Bobby Tolan, before Sparky Anderson ran him out of town on a rail, bats sixth and plays right field. Dave Concepcion bats seventh and plays short. Cesar Geronimo bats eighth. He'll be in center field. Jack Billingham is on the mound. In 1973, he was 19 and 10 with a 3.04 earned run average in 40 starts for the Big Red Machine. All right, for the homestanding Los Angeles Dodgers of 1974, Davey Lopes leads off at second. Bill Buckner bats second in left field. Jim Wynn bats third in center. Steve Garvey bats fourth at first base. Willie Crawford bats fifth in right field. Ron Say bats sixth at third base. I thought long and hard about my catching choice. Decided to go with Joe Ferguson. He will bat seventh and catch. Bill Russell bats eighth at shortstop. And on the mound, it's Don Sutton. Don Sutton in 1974. 19 and 9 with a 3.22 earned run average in 40 starts. 
All right, P. Rose stepping in the batter's box against Don Sutton. Joe Morgan's on deck, and we are ready to go at Chavez Ravine. And the delivery from Sutton is swung on by Rose. It's hit to left. That's Bill Buckner country, and he's got it for out number one. We are underway in L.A. between a battle of these two titans. Here's Joe Morgan. Sutton kicks and deals, and Morgan to right and deep. Back goes Willie Crawford. Warning track. Ball, and it's gone. one nothing Cincinnati. Yikes. Now it's Dreesen. Dreesen playing third base today. Sutton kicks and delivers to Dan Dreesen, and this is going to be, well, we didn't do our stuff check, did we? Got a roll for the stuff. Let's see what stuff Sutton has. Three, three, four, three. And a 33 is going to be a single for Dreesen. Now we'll do Billingham right away, so I don't forget that. Uh, Billingham stuff, two, 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 three. Two, 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 three. All righty. So Dreesen's aboard. That'll bring Bench to the plate as the Dodger infield moves to double play depth. The stretch and the delivery by Sutton is a ground ball to short. That's Russell. He goes to Lopes for one. The relay to Garvey is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing, and inning ending 6 4 3 double play. Turn by the Dodgers. We go to the bottom of the first. The Reds lead it one to nothing with the Dodgers coming to bat. Lopes, Buckner, and Win. Jack Billingham kicks and deals. And Billingham gets Lopes to hit one on the ground to short. Concepcion charges and throws on the run. They get Lopes by a step at first. One down in the LA first inning. Bill Buckner comes to the plate. The Dodger left fielder. Billingham kicks and delivers to Billy Buck. And that is swung on by Buckner and popped up. In short left field, Dave Concepcion calling and taking for out number two. Jim Wynn comes to the plate. Maybe the guy who should have been the 1974 MVP in the National League. And the delivery from Jack Billingham is ball four, and Wynn takes his base, brings up Garvey. Uh, with Willie Crawford, who would be next in the on-deck circle. Billingham the stretch and the pitch to Garvey. Fly ball to center. Geronimo back near the track will make the catch for out number three. Well, we've played one in L.A. and the Red, the 73 Reds lead the 74 Dodgers one to nothing. Perez, Tolan, and Concepcion coming up in inning number two. Don Sutton delivers to the Reds' first baseman, and that is going to be ball four. He walked him. Sutton a little bit wild today, and the leadoff man is aboard in the second inning for Cincinnati. Bobby Tolan comes to the plate. Sutton the stretch and the pitch to Tolan is a line drive to right. That's going to be caught by Crawford. Perez not too far off. First, he retreats, and there's one down. Concepcion at the plate. Sutton the stretch and the delivery. Ground ball hit to Lopes at second. A DP chart right here. One to two. They're going to turn it. Lopes goes to Russell for one, and the relay to Garvey is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing, and inning-ending 4-6-3 double play turned by the Dodgers. We go with second in the game, second in two innings. We go to the bottom of the second at Cincinnati 1, L.A. nothing. Crawford, Say, and Fergie Ferguson coming up in the bottom of the second against Jack Billingham. The delivery by Billingham is a line drive to left. Coming on is Rose. He makes the catch for out number one. Ron Say the Penguin comes to the plate. Billingham winds and delivers, and it's a ground ball hit to short. Concepcion gloves it and fires to Perez. 
Route number two. Here's Joe Ferguson, the Dodger catcher today. Billingham winds and delivers, and Ferguson hits it to center and deep. Geronimo back, warning track, wall, and it's gone. We are tied at one. A two-out bomb from Ferguson. That's exactly why I started him. And now it's Russell. Billingham deals to Bill Russell. This will be an error check for the third baseman, Dan Dreesen. And he gloves it and fires to first, where Tony Perez grabs it for out number three. But the Dodgers get a run in the second and tie it up on a home run by Joe Ferguson. We go to the third. Reds one, Dodgers one. Don Sutton with a new lease on life. We'll face Cesar Geronimo, Jack Billingham, and Pete Rose in the third. Sutton kicks and deals. This is going to be a hit on the line to left. Bill Buckner with the running catch for out number one. Jack Billingham comes to the plate. Sutton winds and deals. And this is hit to third. Ron Say. Uh... Gloves it to his right, plants, and throws to Garvey for out number two. That'll bring up Pete Rose with nobody on base. Don Sutton winds and deals to Pete, and a base hit to left. Drops in front of Buckner. The Reds have a two-out base runner, and Joe Morgan comes to the plate. Joe hit a home run in the first. 26 in the 1973 season. Sutton the stretch and the pitch to Joe. Swung on it, hit in the air to left. This drives Buckner back to the track. He makes the catch for out number three. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Joe Morgan drives that one out of here, but no. We go to the bottom of the third, and your score, Reds one, Dodgers one. Sutton and then the top, Lopes and Buckner, Coming up in the Dodger third, Jack Billingham kicks and deals. This will be an error check for right fielder Bobby Tolan, and he might boot it. He does boot it. We got to see what happens here as I'm throwing charts all over the room. All right, we got to roll a D6. See what kind of frivolity we got going here. Uh, batter safe at first, runners advance two. So that's going to be an E9 on Tolan. And Sutton will reach. So Lopes comes to the plate now. Buckner on deck, Billingham the stretch and the pitch to Davey. Swung on and hit to right. Over by the foul line is Bobby Tolan, and he's got it for out number one. Sutton retreats to first, and Bill Buckner comes to the plate. Billingham the stretch and the pitch to Billy Buck. Ground ball hit to short. This is Concepcion. He gloves it. Goes to Morgan for one. The relay to Perez in time for a rally killing Soul crushing and inning ending six four three double play turn by the big red machine. So the team, both teams, putting on a defensive show here. We go to the fourth. Reds one, Dodgers one. Sutton will contend with the meat of the Reds order in the fourth. Dreesen, Bench, and Perez. Sutton winds and deals. Base hit for Dreesen. Goes to left field, drops in front of Buckner. That's Dreesen's second hit of the game, and here's Bench. Bench grounded into a double play in the first. Sutton the stretch and the pitch to Johnny. That's going to be a hit knocked down by Say. Is he going to uh, have a problem here? He will... 
pick it up and throw it away. So that's going to be Dreesen to third, bench to second on a single and an E5 by Say. Second and third with nobody out. Golden opportunity for the Reds to take the lead. And here's the big RBI man, Tony Perez. The stretch by Sutton. The infield is going to play. Uh, they're going to play in at the corners. The stretch by Sutton and the delivery to Tony Perez. Hit in the air to center. Back is Jimmy Wynn. He makes the catch for out number one. Tagging at third and coming home is Dreesen. And let's see. Uh, about Bench tagging up here. He will tag and advance to third. So a deep fly ball by Perez breaks the tie. The Reds lead it 2-1, and Bench advances from second to third on the play. Infield in for the Dodgers. Tolan at the plate, something the stretch and the delivery. Well, I should probably have a red die. The delivery is a ground ball to short. That's Russell. Um... And that will be Bench will hold. Russell will fire to Garvey. And there's two away. So the infield in cuts off a run right there. Or prevents a run for the moment. Here's Concepcion. 2-1 Reds, two outs. Bench at third. Sutton going to go from the windup and deliver to Concepcion. And this will be a base hit for Concepcion. That brings home bench 3-1 Reds in the fourth inning. Big two-out single for Concepcion. Now Geronimo comes to the plate. Billingham would be next. Sutton the stretch, the pitch to Geronimo. Ground ball to Russell at short. He's going to go the short way to Lopes covering second, and that will retire the Reds in the fourth, but not before... They get two runs on three hits. They leave one. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Reds three, Dodgers one. Billingham with a brand new lead to protect. Will face Wynn, Garvey, and Crawford in the Dodger fourth. Jack Billingham deals to Jimmy Wynn. And that's a ground ball to third. Dreesen gloves it and throws to Perez for out number one. Steve Garvey, the man who was the National League MVP in 1974, comes to the plate. One out, nobody on. Billingham deals. And Garvey pops it up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Tony Perez in fair territory, calling and taking. Four out, number two. That'll bring up Crawford. Billingham winds and deals to the 0-for-1 Willie Crawford. And hey, struck him out. Billingham ends the inning with an exclamation mark. His first strikeout of the day. We go to the fifth. Reds three, Dodgers one. It'll be Billingham, Rose, and Morgan coming up in the Reds' fifth inning. Don Sutton's going to try and right the ship after a shaky fourth. Sutton deals to Jack Billingham. It's a ground ball to Russell. Bill charges, throws on the run to Garvey, and they get Billingham by 14 steps at first base. Here's P. Rose. Pete's one for two. The delivery by Sutton. This will be an error check for Bill Russell. Ooh, and he's got a lot of them. He boots it. For an E6 that puts Rose on at first base. One on with one out for the Reds. And Joe Morgan comes to the plate. Sutton the stretch. The delivery home to Joe. Ground ball hit to Lopes. He goes to Russell for one. The relay to Garvey. Not in time. Morgan beats the rap at first. And... 
Uh, there's two outs with Dreesen coming to the plate. Now, I think they're going to try and send Joe here. Um... Yeah, the stretch by Sutton in the delivery. Let's see if he gets a jump. He does. And there goes Morgan. The throwdown. Dreesen takes the pitch. The throwdown from Ferguson to Russell. Oops. From Ferguson to Russell is not in time. Morgan slides in safely with a stolen base. He's in scoring position. With two outs now, Dreesen still at the plate. Sutton the stretch and the pitch to the Reds' third baseman. Is swung on and hit in the air to center. Can of corn for Jimmy Wynn. He's got it for out number three. Well, a little adventure in the fifth, but Sutton works his way out of it. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We're halfway home. And your score... The Reds, three, and the Dodgers, we one. We say Ferguson and Russell, six, seven, eight, and the Dodger, fifth. Billingham kicks and deals. Swung on and hit to right. This will drive Tolan back, but he's got room and makes the catch for out number one in the bottom of the fifth. Billingham has only allowed one hit. It was to this man, Joe Ferguson. Unfortunately for Jack, it was a home run back in the second. Billingham deals to Ferguson. And this is swung on and hit in the air to center. High but not deep. Geronimo is there, and he's got it for out number two. Billingham has now retired seven in a row. Bill Russell at the plate with nobody on and two outs. Sutton would be next. The delivery by Billingham is hit to center. On the run is Cesar Geronimo. Is he going to get there? He will not. It's going to drop for a base hit. A two-out single. That'll allow the Dodgers to turn the lineup over. Sutton comes to the plate with two outs and a man on. Billingham the stretch. The pitch to Sutton is going to be a check. Our field day charts, and we got a man on. Dice roll 54 wildest charts below. And we have a runner at first. Batter strikes out and the runner is caught stealing. If there are still outs to be made in the inning, there are not. So that'll end the inning with Sutton striking out. Billingham second strikeout on the day. The Dodgers are done in the fifth. We go to the sixth. It's the Reds three and the Dodgers one. Bench, Perez, and Tolan four, five, six coming up in the Reds sixth inning. Sutton kicks and delivers. And Bench rips a base hit to left. It drops in front of Buckner. Leadoff man aboard for the Reds in the sixth. Let's talk about stamina for Sutton. He can face 32 batters. He has faced... Uh, 22, so he's all right for the moment. Perez at the plate. The Dodgers looking for another twin killing. They've turned two in the game. The stretch by Sutton, the delivery to Tony. And, hey, struck him out. Sutton got Perez on a bender, and that's Sutton's first strikeout of the day. One out, one on. Bobby Tolton comes to the plate. Tough man to double. Sutton the stretch, the delivery to Tolan. Ground ball hit to Lopes at second. Lopes flips to Russell for one, and the relay to Garvey is going to be in time for a rally killing, soul crushing, and inning ending. 4 6 3 turn by the Dodgers. Who says that infield can't play defense? Third double play turned by L.A. in six innings. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and your score, Reds three, Dodgers one. Tolan didn't like the call at first from first base umpire Helen Keller, but the call stands. And now in the bottom of the sixth, it's going to be
the top of the Dodger order, Lopes, Buckner, and Wynn coming up. Uh, stamina for Billingham, 34 batters to face, and he has faced 18. All right, Big Jack winds and deals to Lopes. This is hit to third. That is Dreesen. Dreesen gloves it to his right by the third base bag and fires across the diamond to Perez for out number one. Bill Buckner comes to the plate now. Two hits only by the Dodgers in this game. A home run by Ferguson in the second and a single by Russell in the fifth. Billingham kicks and deals. This is hit to first. That's Perez. Tony Perez gloves it and takes it to the bag. Unassisted for out number two. And with nobody on, it'll be Jimmy Wynn. Steve Garvey would be next. The wide and the delivery from Billingham. Ground ball hit to short. Concepcion guns it to Perez. And the side is retired in the sixth. Billingham cruising right along. We go to the seventh. Reds three, Dodgers one. Sutton will face the bottom third of the Reds order in the seventh. Concepcion, Geronimo, and Billingham. Don Sutton kicks and deals to the Reds shortstop. This is a ground ball hit toward Russell. And he gobbles it up and fires to Garvey for out number one. Cesar Geronimo is 0 for 2 and he's up there now. Billingham is on deck. Sutton kicks and delivers. Popped him up. Bill Russell on the infield dirt. Calling and taking for out number two. Jack Billingham is 0 for 2, and he's up there now. Pete Rose would be next. Sutton kicks and delivers to Jack, and hi, struck him out. He got him with the cheese. That will end the Red 7th inning. It's time to stretch him out in L.A. With your score, the Reds 3 and the Dodgers 1. Garvey, Crawford, and Save 4-5-6 coming up against... Happy Jack Billingham in this game. The wind and the delivery by Billingham. And that is going to be a comebacker hit to Jack. He takes a couple of steps toward Perez and throws him the ball for out number one. Willie Crawford's 0 for 2 and he's up there now. The wind and the delivery by Billingham. That's a ground ball to Concepcion at short. And Davey, of course, is still in the service, and it gets by him for a base hit into left center field. Third hit of the day for the Dodgers. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate, and Ron Say. Say is 0 for 2. Reds infield looking for a double play. Jack Billingham, the stretch, and the pitch to the Penguin. That's hit to Morgan at second. Uh, Morgan does glove it. He goes to Concepcion for one, and that's all they're going to get. A hard slide by Willie Crawford. Breaks up two. And Joe Ferguson comes to the plate. He is also the tying run at the plate. Say at first. Ferguson at the plate. Two out, bottom of the seventh. Billingham, the stretch, the pitch to Fergie, is a base hit to left. This will drop in front of P. Rose. Ron Say will... He will stop at second with the play in front of him. Ferguson on with a single. And coming to the plate now is Bill Russell. Billingham in a seventh inning jam. There is... Stirring, and now there is throwing in the Reds' bullpen. That is Pedro Borbon. And he is joined by left-hander Tom Hall. Not Tom T. Hall. That's a different person entirely. Tom Hall, the blade, is starting to throw. And Borbon alongside him. Lefty righty double barreled action for Sparky here in the bottom of the seventh. Here's Russell at the plate. 
Billingham the stretch. Russell's one for two. Sutton standing in the on-deck circle. The stretch by Billingham, the delivery, is going to be a base hit for Russell. It goes to left field. Around third comes Say. He's going to score, and it's a 3-2 ball game. Stopping at second is Ferguson, and we're going to get a pinch hitter for Don Sutton with a chance for the Dodgers to tie the game. Starting to throw in the bullpen, it's Mike Marshall. Iron Mike starts to throw. And the pinch hitter for the Dodgers coming out of the dugout is going to be Manny Mota. Mota. All right. Pinch hitter extraordinaire with a chance to tie the ball game, hitting for Sutton. Let's tell you about Don's day here. Uh, Sutton goes seven innings. He allows two, four, six, seven base hits, three runs. They are, two are earned. One is a home run. He's on the hook for the loss unless the Dodgers can continue this rally. Two outs, Ferguson at second, Russell at first. Moda, a 281 hitter in the 1974 campaign. 66 games, 72 plate appearances. So you know what Manny was doing. Billingham the stretch and the pitch to Moda is popped up. Tony Perez calling and taking, and that will end the Dodgers' seventh. But they do get a run. On three hits, they leave two. We go to the eighth inning. We got a good one in L.A., it's the Reds three and the Dodgers two. Rolling for Mike Marshall's stuff here in the eighth. Four, two, two, no, four, three, two, and three. That's not a good stuff roll for Mike. Well, we'll see if he can battle through it. Rose, Morgan, and Dreesen coming up for the screwballer in the eighth. Marshall deals. Base hit for Rose. To left field, Buckner collects it and gets it back in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Pete's aboard. Morgan at the plate, the stretch, and the delivery by Marshall to the Reds' second baseman. Hit in the air to center. This is win. He's got it for out number one. Rose will hold at first. Dreesen comes to the plate. The stretch by Marshall checks Rose, the delivery to Dreesen. Base hit for Dreesen. This will go to right field. And Rose stops at second. Good play by Crawford, getting on that ball in a hurry. Two on with one out for Bench. Dodgers need another one of those. Double play grounders. Marshall the stretch, the pitch to bench. <clears throat> Swung on and hit to center. Jim Wynn pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number two. And, well, let's see if Rose will go to third. And Pete will uh, hold at second. All right. Two on, two outs for Perez. Marshall, the stretch, the delivery to Tony. Base hit to center. They might hold Rose. Let's see. No, he's going to be waved and he's going to score. It's 4 2 Cincinnati. Dreesen holds at second, two on with two outs. Marshall having trouble getting out of the eighth inning. Here's Bobby Tolan. Tolan's 0 for 3. The stretch by Marshall, the pitch to the Reds' right fielder is a fly ball to center. Into right center is Jimmy Wynn. He's going to make the catch. And in doing so, will tie a record held by many as he makes all three putouts in the inning. <clears throat> However, in the eighth, the Reds score a run. It's a big insurance run on three hits. They leave two. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Reds four. 
Dodgers two. Billingham is is out for the eighth, but the leash is short. Borbone and Hall are ready in the Reds bullpen. Top of the order coming for the Dodgers. Walter Alston. Lopes, Buckner, and Wynn. Billingham deals. Base hit for Lopes. That goes right through the box. A 64 hopper out to center field. Geronimo collects it and gets it back in. And Buckner comes to the plate. And here comes Sparky. That is going to do it. We're going to get the blade coming on. It's going to be Tom Hall. Borbone continues to throw. And alongside him now is the Hawk, Clay Carroll. So Billingham, <clears throat> Jack is done after seven plus innings of work. He allows six base hits. One of them was a home run. Uh, well, one, two runs so far, they're both earned. He walked one batter and struck out two. He's in line for the victory if the Reds bullpen can get the job done here. We have a lefty-lefty matchup. Tom Hall in 1973 was in 54 games. Seven of those were starts. And an 8-5 and five record with eight saves. Uh, we're rolling for stuff for Tom Hall. And oh boy, he's got a 0 3 5 and seven. So, a lot of strikeouts, but you can take him deep. Let's see if the Dodgers do. Buckner at the plate. Lopes at first. They can't send him. Uh, not down two in the eighth. The pitch from Hall to Buckner <clears throat> is going to be ball four. He walked him. The tying runs are on for the Dodgers, and here comes Sparky. We're going to get a new pitcher, and it's going to be Pedro Borbon. Nobody out here in the eighth, and the Dodgers are putting something together. So Borbon was in 80 games with a 2.16 ERA in 1973, 11-4 with 14 saves. See what kind of stuff Pedro has. Six, two, one, and two. All right. Infield at double play depth for Jimmy Wynn. Jimmy Wynn represents the go ahead run in this game. What a ball game. <clears throat> for Bull in the stretch, Clay Carroll in the Dodger and the Reds bullpen continues to work. The pitch from Bourbon. Ball four to Jimmy Wynn, and the bases are loaded. That brings up Garvey. Red's defense isn't going to change. They're going to stay at double play depth on the infield, but Garvey with a chance to really do some damage here. Crawford on deck. Borbon the stretch. The pitch to Garv is a ground ball to second. That's Morgan. He flips to Concepcion for one. The real letter Perez, not in time. Steve Garvey beats the rep. Win is retired. 4-6 uh, on the putout. Lope scores. Buckner goes to third. There's Dodgers at the corners with one out. It is a 4-3 Reds lead now with one out in the eighth. <clears throat> Infield comes in now for the Reds. Uh, Willie Crawford comes to the plate. Borbone really, or the Reds really, need a strikeout. The stretch by Borbone. He checks Garvey at first and delivers to Crawford. And this is hit to second. That's Joe Morgan, of course. <clears throat> See if he... Fields it cleanly. He does. Now, let's see what they're going to do with it. Uh, the infield was playing in. So we've got first and third. Out at second. The run scores.
All right. So it's a fielder's choice. Morgan's only play was to go to second and get Garvey. Buckner scores from third. We're tied at four. And Crawford reaches on the fielder's choice. Say comes to the plate. Two outs, 4-4 four, four game. Bourbon trying to get out of the eighth. Billingham cannot win the game anymore. Sutton's off the hook. The stretch by Bourbon and the delivery is hit and a base hit to center field. Crawford will stop at second. Two on, two outs, and here's Ferguson. The pitcher spot is due up third in the ninth. Sparky's trying to get Bourbon to get him out of this mess, but the Dodgers have two on with two outs. Crawford at second, say at first, and here's Ferguson, two for three with a bomb. Bourbon in the stretch, the pitch to Ferguson. Hey, struck him out. Bourbon humped up on that fastball, and the Dodgers are done in the eighth. But they come back with two runs on two hits. They leave two. We go to the ninth inning, and we've decided nothing. Your score is the Reds four and the Dodgers four. Left-handed screwball artist Jim Brewer is throwing in the Dodger bullpen. Right-handed screwball artist Mike Marshall is out for the ninth inning, and he will face Concepcion Geronimo and a pinch hitter for pitcher Pedro Bourbon. Tie game 4-4. Marshall deals to the red shortstop, who's one for three. The pitch is a fly ball to right. Crawford pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number one. Now it's Geronimo. Marshall deals to Cesar, and we got to look at the field day charts one more time. Nobody's on, of course. And this is a double to center. Batter trying to stretch it into a triple. Let's see. Uh, the assist rating for Jimmy Wynn. Wynn is going to hit Russell, and the throw is late. Geronimo in with a one-out triple to center field over the head of Jimmy Wynn, and Geronimo races around those bases for a triple, and now Hal King, the Reds, the 73 Reds pinch hitter extraordinaire, Comes to the plate. Brewer continuing to throw in the Dodger bullpen. The Dodgers move their infield in. One out. Man at third. Go ahead run. 90 feet away. Marshall the stretch and the pitch to King. And this will be a base hit for King. Off the glove of Davy Lopes. Geronimo comes home. It's 5-4 Cincinnati on a pinch hit single by Hal King. And Marshall is leaking oil out there on the mound. Here comes Walter Alston. It's going to be Jim Brewer to face Pete Rose. So Marshall's done after one and one-third innings. He allows two runs, five hits, doesn't strike anybody out, doesn't walk anybody. But he's on the hook for the loss unless the Dodgers can rally again. Jim Brewer is on. He was in 24 games, 4-4, four and four, 39 innings. He's trying to stop the bleeding. Let's check his stuff. 1-2-5-4. and four. All right. <clears throat> Double play depth for the Dodger infield. Rose is two for four. Brewer the stretch and the pitch to Pete. Base hit to left. This drops in front of Buckner. His throw is going to go to second as Hal King goes to third. There's Reds at the corners with one out. Dodger infield is going. Oh boy, Morgan at the plate. Tough to double him. Um, they're going to play in at all four spots. Brewer really needs a strikeout here. Dreesen on deck. 
Jim Brewer, the stretch, the pitch to Joe Morgan. And it's going to be a field day chart. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, the bases are not empty. The bay, There's runners on. Let's see what we get here. Strike three. Ball gets by the catcher and goes to the backstop. It's a pass ball unless Ferguson's pass ball rating is a zero, and I can't believe it is. Um, is a zero. Ferguson holds on to it for the strikeout. Well, that's a game-saving play for the moment anyway. Brewer does get his strikeout. There's two outs, two on. Dodger infield moves to normal depth now, and Dreesen at three for four comes to the plate. It's King at third, Rose at first. Five, four Reds. Brewer the stretch, the delivery to Dreesen. Ground ball to second. That's Lopes. He throws to Garvey, and the side is retired. So Jim Brewer does wriggle off the hook, but the Reds break the tie with a run on three hits. And they leave two, and that may come home to roost as well. We go to the bottom of the ninth, Reds five, Dodgers four, and Clay Carroll, the Hawk, comes on. And if you're wondering why they call him the Hawk, well, check Clay's profile and you will quickly learn the, re <laughs> the reason why. All right, it's going to be Russell, a pinch hitter for Jim Brewer, and then the top of the order with uh, Davey Lopes coming up for the Dodgers in the ninth. They need a run to stay alive. Two to walk this thing off. Clay Carroll, pretty much their closer in 73. 14 saves, 8-8. Eight and eight. A 369 ERA. Uh, let's see what kind of stuff Clay has. 5-2-1-2. And Russell is 2 for 3 with a ribby. So the Dodgers need a base runner. The wind and the delivery to Russell. This is going to be a ground ball to third. That's Dreesen. He throws to Perez, and there's one down in the Dodger ninth. Von Joshua is going to do the pinch hitting for Jim Brewer, who goes back to the dugout as Von pops out with a bat. Uh, Joshua, left-handed batting outfielder, and made the last out in the 1974 World Series. And that, well, and later was some Milwaukee Brewer, of course, for a couple of years. Um... Carroll is going to pitch to Joshua. Here we go. And it's a fly ball to the left. Pete Rose pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number two. Davey Lopes becomes the last chance saloon for the Dodgers in this one. Carroll kicks and delivers. And Clay Carroll. Uh, Lopes swings and hits it to right. Back goes Tolan near the track. He makes the catch. And the Reds win this one. Let's give you the totals. For the visiting and victorious Reds, five runs. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen base hits. And they committed no error. One error. Excuse me, one error. The Dodgers, four runs. They had quite a comeback, but couldn't quite finish the deal on seven base hits, and they committed one, two, two errors. The winning pitcher, the winning pitcher, well, the score was tied. Uh, the winning pitcher is Bourbon. Carroll gets the save, and the loss goes to Mike Marshall. Star of the game. Well, it could be Hal King. Yeah, you drove in the winning run. I guess we'll do it the easy way and make Hal King 
the star of the game for his pinch hit single that put the Reds up to stay in the ninth inning uh, at five to four, driving home Geronimo from third base. This is Field Day Baseball. Uh, the link for Field Day Baseball is in the description for this video. And so is the link for channel membership to my channel. Remember, with membership to my channel, you get access to members-only videos, book reviews, special reports, playing tips, all sorts of stuff. You get discounts in my secondary store, and you also get a free gift from me every month. But for now, your final from Los Angeles. The 1973 Reds 5, the 1974 Dodgers 4. Good ball game tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.